Portable ladders are a mainstay of the fire service. They permit access and egress into fire buildings while also allowing firefighters to rescue numerous people. Prior to entering the fire ground, firefighters should ensure they learn the dynamics and tactics of portable ladder operations. Portable ladders can be used for rescue and ventilation operations while also permitting firefighters to gain access and egress to fire buildings and other areas. There are numerous types of portable ladders. Understanding their uses and features will ensure you operate with the proper ladder on the fire ground. A straight ladder is a single section ladder with a fixed length. A roof ladder is a form of a straight ladder with roof hooks mounted at its tip. An extension ladder is an adjustable ladder with two or more sections. A folding ladder, attic, suitcase, and scissor is a narrow collapsible ladder that folds into itself for transportation or use in small or narrow places. An A-frame ladder is a ladder which normally can be used as a small extension ladder or in the A-frame design. Because of its size, it can be conveniently transported through a structure. A Fresno ladder is a narrow extension ladder with no halyard or pulleys. Miscellaneous ladders are often carried on numerous fire department apparatus. These might consist of step ladders, collapsible ladders, and specific brands. For example, the Little Giant Ladder. Ladders are generally built out of metal, fiberglass, wood, or a combination of these materials. Lightweight metal assemblies and parts allow ladders to function mechanically. Learning the proper terminology and their functions is a vital part of understanding ladders. The butt, or heel, is also known as the base of the ladder which contacts the ground. It may consist of either spurs or spikes, or in some cases, a permanently mounted swivel shoe is affixed to the end of the ladder. The tip, or the top of the ladder, or the top few rungs of the ladder. Beams are the main structural components of the ladder, which supports a firefighter's weight as it's transferred from the rungs to the ground. Ladders may either have a solid beam, trust beam, or I-beam construction. The bed section is the bottom or section of the ladder that remains in contact with the ground. The fly section is a section of a ladder which can extend from the base to gain height and distance. Some ladders will have more than one fly section. The rungs are the horizontal cross members which support a firefighter's weight and tie the two beams of the ladder together. The ladder locks or dogs are the spring-loaded mechanical locking devices mounted on the fly section that engage on each rung as the ladder is raised and locked. The halyard is a rope that is used to extend or retract the fly section or sections of a ladder. The halyard runs through a pulley to ease in raising and lowering the ladder. The pulleys are a small wheel with a grooved channel attached to the ladder by a bracket in which the halyard runs through. Heat sensor labels are heat sensitive stickers attached to the ladder to warn firefighters if the ladder has been exposed to excessive heat. If so, the ladder must be inspected and weight tested before use. The balance point is the spot on a ladder where it balances evenly when lifted. Balance points should be marked on ladders to help in removal and carrying ladders. Roof hooks are permanently mounted and spring-loaded curved hooks on roof ladders which bite into a pitch roof to secure the ladder. Tormentor poles are poles attached to the bed section with swivel connections for certain ladders to assist in stabilizing and lifting and lowering. Ladder identification points. Ladders should be marked with their size on the butt, base, and tip of the ladder for easy viewing and identification.